Hello everyone, are we seeing the seasonal cooldown or there is something else? Well, let's find out. We are now in the last month of the year. So how is Calgary doing? The market always slows down with the change of the weather, but are we worse or better off than the last year? Which segments of our market are performing well? And are there any surprises? In this month's report, we will dive deep into November sales statistics. And I will also explain whether our slowdown is seasonal or related to something bigger. We will also examine the economic fundamentals to give you an understanding of what is driving our strong real estate market this year. So are markets slowing down? This is the time of the year when I'm always asked about the slowdown in the market. And is it seasonal or there is something else at play? Calgary has very pronounced yearly market cycles and early winter months of November and December are always the slowest of the year in terms of transaction volume. We often second guess ourselves whenever we see dips in the market activity. Whenever this happens, I always come back to my most trusted statistic, months of supply. Sales prices and sales volumes are just data points. They're not information. You cannot really make an informed decision based on sales prices alone. If you want to truly understand about the strengths of the market, you need to look at the balance between supply and demand. Because it is that contrast that really tells you what to expect to be like to trade in a specific real estate market and which way you can expect prices to go. That contrast is the best captured in the months of supply metric. But first, let's take a look at the hard numbers. We will go back to the months of supply, but first I would love to cover the hard numbers released by Calgary Real Estate Board to give our analysis some context. So for November, the average price of a residential real estate in Calgary was 572,700. That is basically the same price that we have seen back in August when it was only $2,000 less. So I think it's safe to say that we have seen our gains for the year and that will be the number for Calgary in 2023. But sales have fallen to 1,787 in November, down by over 400 sales from October. But inventory is down by October by a couple of hundred units sitting at 2,989 homes which is helping the months of supply metric and keeping it solidly under two months. And I will explain why that is important. If you look at the numbers in 2022, when we had 1,640 sales, we have more sales this year than the last, which has been the case for Calgary for over the last several months as the consumer have come to grip with the higher interest rates and the market has remained competitive due to a strong migration to Alberta, both internationally and interprovincially. Looking at the individual market segments, we have detached homes coming up at 699,500, up 13% from the last year. Semi-detached pricing is coming at 628,700, with each of these segments are around 12 to 13% from the last winter, which is really strong. And as it has been the case all year, the emergence of apartment condo segment continued in November with pricing at 320,100, which is 17.8% from last November. Raw houses continue to establish themselves as a new starter family home in Calgary, showing another month of gain in 21% range to an average price of 429,100. So going back to the seasonal effect, compared to October, we have seen a hundred of fewer sales in November and all categories are down in this respect and even fewer than two months ago in September. Average pricing has also remained flat going back to the summer months, which is rising some eyebrows among real estate agents and contributing to the narrative that things are slowing down in Calgary. But we all expect the market to slow down at this time of the year. So genuine shift in the market due to economic fundamentals can sometimes be lost in seasonal effect. Okay, let's go back to the months of supply. Previous topic is actually the real reason why I always look at these stats, because it tells you the real story. And the news here is as good as it has been the whole year for the strength of the Calgary real estate market. Taking a look at this graph, you will still see that we have less than two months of supply at 1.67 months, which means that we are still unquestionably in a seller's market territory. The market is a little bit less hot than in a peak summer months but still much tighter than it was at the start of this year in January. And just for your reference, the balance market is considered to be about two and a half months of supply 
and we have been under that the entire year. So when you compare the level of demand in July to where we are right now, you can see why it might feel like things are slowing down a little bit out there. But there is no cause for the concern because we are still very much in a seller's market where all of the houses currently for sale would be gone in less than seven weeks if nothing new come to the market. Economic fundamentals. So what about that? Are all of those strong sales statistics actually earned? Well, fortunately, City of Calgary released its third quarter housing review just a few days ago, and we have some graphics to share with you to explain exactly what has been happening in the Calgary all year. First up is population change, and the city classifies this as the net migration of permanent residents, and by that metric we are having a strong year with 5,615 people coming to Calgary from abroad in third quarter. And that is on the heels of a growing over 7,000 people in the second quarter. More people mean more demand for housing and these are very healthy numbers and it's a good bet that this has the most to do with the Calgary being in a seller's market all year. But people don't just move for the sake of moving. They want to build a new better future for themselves. And by that account Calgary is also showing out with over 22 thousand jobs added since third quarter of the last year, which means our economy is supporting the population growth and our unemployment rate has been nearly flat over the last year, coming in just under 6%. None of these statistics are breaking their stride, which is why we continue to have seller's market in Calgary, even if it feels like things are slowing down a little bit compared to where we were earlier this year. So what about 2024? I always get asked this question. And how is it going to look like? Is it going to be any different? And if so, how? Well, you will need to catch me in my next month report where we will review this year and provide our outlook for 2024. Well, thank you for staying with me until the end. If you have any real estate questions, I'm here to help. Have a great rest of the year. Enjoy holidays and a happy new year.